Hey guys, I am Adam. Welcome to the Vintage Sanctuary. This is a video response for Doug Kahn, uh, whose Patreon program is truly life transformative. In fact, I have one of his Patreon members here who's going to talk a little bit about uh, how transformative it has been for him. So let me go ahead and uh, turn this over to one of Doug's uh, super successful Patreon members who was basically a total loser uh, before getting connected with the ultimate influencer and investor, Doug Kahn. Hey guys, Adamio here. How's it going? Yeah, it's hard to believe now, but I used to be like the ultimate loser. Until a few weeks ago when, when I took a chance, I took a risk, and I became a Patreon member of Doug Kahn's, and since that point in my life, all I do is win, 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 and frankly, I've got so sick of winning, I've had to go into psychotherapy just just to learn how to deal with, you know, winning all the time. Now, some of you might think that's kind of arrogant, but have you ever tried winning all the time? Do you have any idea how guilty you feel, you know, winning all of the freaking time? Yeah, so um, I didn't even want to enter this this contest because I knew that all I would do is just win, 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 and then then I'd get the pack and I'd open it up and I'd find the card and I'd do more winning. I mean, I've already won, and you know why I've already won? Because a couple weeks ago I started doing something very transformative. It was all because of Doug. I I started thinking, you know, for the first time in my life I said, you know, thinking, thinking is where it's at. And so I started to think because, uh, well, I'm not sure why, but I, Doug just made it clear that if I wanted to be a winner, I, I'd have to start thinking. So I started thinking, and you know, I got to thinking. And I got to thinking, you know, if if wearing one tie makes, makes you successful, why not wear two ties? And if two ties makes you more successful, why not wear three? So I started wearing lots of ties, and then I just kept winning all of the freaking time. I am so sick of winning, but you know what? I'm in psychotherapy now. I'm getting used to winning. Uh, did I just say I was so sick of winning? Well, it takes a while to develop that winning mindset, you know, and so uh, I owe it all to Doug Kahn. Uh, the man is an artist uh, and his name is Kahn, so he's just the ultimate con artist, you know. He exploits kindergartners who have high technology skills, much higher than mine, ever will be. Did I say exploits? I meant extracts. He extracts kindergartners from uh, sewers. These are random sewer children. And, and he nurses them back to health with, with, uh, um, with premium card pack opening therapy. Uh, the man is just a legend. Uh, really uh, should be man of the year. Uh, man of the whatever time periods there are that are, that are longer than years, uh, he should be that man. In fact, he is that man, you know. And what I realized from Doug is you believe it and then you achieve it. And so uh, I got to thinking, you know, I can take this to the next level and and do more than just win whatever it is that, you do that goes beyond winning. I, I'm not sure, but, but, you know, I've got to take it to the next level because I've got a condu attitude. Uh, do you know that condu rhymes with fondue? And I'm here to tell you that that means something, but I haven't been thinking long enough to figure out what, but, but I'll let you know once I, I figure it out. All right, so what's my plan? Well, well, let me just turn this camera around and show you what my plan is here. So uh, you see a picture of the uh, 9.5 1952 Topps Mickey Mantle that was uh, auctioned off for some crazy amount of money. I forget how much. I think it might have been $12 million or something like that. And, uh, you know, I thought about buying it myself. I thought if I just put a bid out, I'll win because all I ever do is win. Did I mention that? And so uh, I thought about it, but then I realized, hey, this says, you know, I got to thinking, find a snow an example. And I said, no, 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 it's not because there's three, 
three PSA Gem Mint 10s. And if I'm a real winner, I'll bid on one of those and I'll win that one. So, you know, this card's for chumps, you know, besides looks off center to me. Look at it carefully. Look at it very carefully with an electron microscope. It's off to the right. It's 51 on the left, 51% on the border, 49% on the right. And then look at the top bottom carefully. 51% of the border on the bottom, 49% on the top. So it's 51, 49 to the, you know, off center, a little bit to the right, a little bit to the top. That double off center there just, just really, really hits the eye appeal. Look at that 9.5. Does that say 10? I don't think that says 10. That says 9.5, you know. So every time I look at this card, it just disgusts me because I don't see a 10 there and that off centering just bugs the hell out of me. So, so, you know, I didn't even, I didn't even want to win it because I knew if I bid, I'd win, but, but no, that's not the card for me. No. Okay. So what's my plan for today? Well, the video response was to talk about, uh, you know, how you got into this game, what card, you know, lured you in. Well, so, uh, it was the, I've shown these cards before, or at least somebody's shown these cards before, but, uh, it was the 56 tops. I just wanted one Hall of Famer with a cool cartoon. So I got this Hoyt Wilhelm here. But today we're going to focus on the cartoons. And let me tell you why. Because I'm, I'm such a winner that I can do what Doug does now. Doug, you've really created quite the winner here. I know that I can, can also lure kindergartners to my channel and exploit. I mean... Uh, I know that I can excite them with my magnetic personality and uh, get them to subscribe and do my bidding, uh, you know, make my channel great again, or at least great or something like, yes, winning. That's what it's all about. They're going to, they're going to basically build a winning empire for me. So how am I going to lure them to my channel with cartoons? Because they may have high technology skills, but they're still kindergartners. So they, they love cartoons. You know what I mean? So let's check it out. Hoist knuckleball is one of the toughest pitches to hit. Look that. It's coming in on some sort of a wave, man. Look at the perplexed batter. Like, there's no way you can hit that. Like, you might as well just, you might as well just put the bat down because, you know, you're toast. And so that's cartoon, and that's what makes it funny. Ha, 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 That's a good one. Now over here, we've got the Hoyt Wilhelm. He uh, led the National League in win one loss percentage and ERA. And so that makes him a king. <laughs> That's funny. And then we got this one. Uh, Hoyt was the giant workhorse appearing in, in the 71 games in 52. I wore a groove from the bullpen to the mound. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that groove. That's funny. Children, that is funny. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification. And don't forget to create apps and, and sign uh, uh, the royalties over to me. So I can win more because that's what I do win. And then, then I got this one because, you know, I love cartoons. The 52 tops lured me in with those cartoons. And, and, uh, so, you know, I had to have this one because this is the big bad boy for 1956 tops. So we're going to focus on the cartoons today. So let's check this first one out. There it goes. Mickey tops the league in homers and tied for the lead in triples in 55. He hit that ball so far that I think this might be the announcer has to look at it with a telescope. Ha 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 ha, that's a good one, kids. Subscribe, like, hit the bell notification, write apps for me to make me rich. You got the idea. Sign the uh, the release agreement, sign everything over to me. Uh, okay, uh, he tied a record in 53 by hitting a Grand Slam homer in the World Series. Gee, what a mob. A mob at home plate. Ha, 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 ha. All right, kids, that's a good one. I'm his shadow. I can't keep up with him. Oh, his shadow can't keep up with him. Ha, ha, ha. That's a good one, too. Cartoons, kids. Come to my channel. Subscribe, like, uh, hit that bell notification. Uh, get your cartoons. Write your apps for me and uh, make me a ton of money because I am a winner and someday you might be able to be like me and be a winner as well. Don't just think you can slap on a bunch of ties and call yourself a winner. It's not, not quite that simple. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. And I think Adam's about ready to, to he's, 
kind of worried about his channel now, so I, I think he's telling me I got to sign off. So y'all, y'all stay mediocre so that it can make me um, look like even more of a winner uh, than than I am, if if that even be possible. Wow, how am I supposed to wrap this episode up now? <laughs> well, I don't know. I'll just end by saying Doug is an awesome guy. I am honored uh, to be one of the participants in his contest with this video response. Um, I am honored by each one of you watching. I know this was not uh, the typical episode, but I hope you were entertained. I did show, I mean, Adamio showed a couple of cards that got me into collecting vintage baseball cards. Uh, first, I just wanted one uh, 56 tops card of a Hall of Famer because I thought, well, Hall of Famers are good. And then, then I had this, you know, uh, sickening feeling in my gut that I needed the mantle. And that was a sickening feeling because it's like, oh man, you know, that's, that's a lot of money and that's going to take me down this rabbit hole. I know I've done a video showing those two off before. Anyway, uh, yeah, and it's not my style to ask for subscribers. I don't think it's wrong for people to ask, but I never have. Um, you know, Adamio does apparently for, you know, to try to uh, get more kindergartners into his channel. I was going to give him a shout out, but I, I just can't really do that in a clear conscience. I figure if people want to watch my channel, they will. And if they're too busy or their life gets hectic, then, you know, and they want to do something else, I, I totally get it. They should, you know, I, I want people to be well. Uh, I hope you had at least a fun and entertaining time in the Vintage Sanctuary.